to another episode of The Sea Shop, where entertainment, business, and giving back meet to bring you the latest in celebrity news and info you won't hear anywhere else. Our celebrity guest is beautiful and talented, and she's become a household name. You may know her by the hit TV show, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. But today we're gonna to talk about some things that you may not know about her. So join me in welcoming Melissa Gorga. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good, good. Now, I know you brought a lot of Twitter followers and Facebook followers with you. Yes. Would you like to give a shout out to them? Of course. Hi, my Twitter family. I love you all. Mwah. Thank you so much for all your support. Love you guys. <laughs> now, Melissa, I had mentioned that you're so talented. Tell me what your latest project is. Um, well, I just released a new single. It's called Ooh. I Just Wanna. Okay. And it's on iTunes now. Mm -hmm. And I just filmed my first music video ever oh, wow. for it, which I'm so excited about. How was that? So it was amazing. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I collaborated with an old family friend that is mm -hmm. so talented. His name is Santino Noir. Oh. And um, he comes in on the track, and he's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's been on the stage since he's 14 years old. and. Yeah. I've known him as a longtime family friend, so we figured it would be so great to kind of collaborate. I wanted to give him the platform and the opportunity to, you know, show his talent and show yeah. the world what he can do. And mm -hmm. we wrote this song together, and it's, oh, wow. it's yes, it's amazing. That's it's a great, great song, so I'm excited about it. Now, I know that you also worked with Chris Judd. I did work with Chris Judd. He's so talented. He's so talented and so <laughs> cute, and he's yeah. amazing. He really is. He is such a perfection when it comes to teaching mm -hmm. and he's worked with I mean he was the right-hand man of Michael Jackson yeah. so when you have someone like that working next to you mm -hmm. and showing you dance moves and he dances you know his style is so much like Michael who mm -hmm. I envy yeah so um, it was amazing it was mm -hmm. it was a surreal experience and he's he's great we still keep in touch and he's he's a great guy now has the singing come easier than the dancing or are they both um, naturally um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think there. I I'm more of a performer. I feel like yeah. it comes a little bit more natural to me. I love to mm -hmm. be on stage. I love to be in front of people. Mm -hmm. That comes uh, a little more natural to me. But at first, it wasn't easy. And of mm -hmm. course, it's definitely not easy doing it all for your first time with the Bravo cameras on top of you. So oh, it gives yeah. it a little bit more pressure to know that you know you're not only doing this for the first time yourself, but the whole world. The whole world and is you have watching. Millions of people judging right. you and criticizing you, and um, yeah. it's not easy. But I'm right. always up for a challenge. So. Well, I admire you because it's it's hard to have someone there all the time, seeing the good, the bad, maybe the ugly. Yes. It's not the finished beautiful product. It's not. Yeah. No, you don't always see the finished beautiful product. You see yeah. us with no makeup on, and <laughs> you see us how when we wake up in the morning, and if mm -hmm. we have an argument with the family member or a husband or whatever it may be. So you mm -hmm. know what? We put it all out there. And I yeah. think that's um, why the show has been so successful. Mm -hmm. I think that um, it's very relatable. Yeah. So many people, you know, deal with family issues in their own homes, and mm -hmm. you know, they just really attach to us. They're very, yeah. it's very personable for a lot of people, mm -hmm. and um, I think that's what made the show so successful. Yeah. Successful. Well, because it's very authentic. It is authentic. It is. It is authentic. And I think, you know, when anything's about family, it just. It's the cream of the crop. So. Yeah. Now, did you find that sometimes you forgot that the cameras were there? Oh, yeah, you definitely yeah. forget. You remember for the first 10 minutes, and mm -hmm. then you kind of just, they purposely will like go in the corner and shoot you from oh, far really? away so that you forget they're even in the room because they don't want you to, you know, remember right. that they're there. So, um, yeah, you forget and you just get used mm -hmm. to it. And, you know, I've always said from the very beginning, I'm going to be me. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to go on and I'm going to be real mm -hmm. and I'm going to be who I am. So that way I'm never chasing my tail. I'm never lying. Mm -hmm. I own up to everything I do. And I think that's why um, I found so much support from the viewers because mm -hmm. they know when I talk, it's going to be real. If I yeah. did it, I'm going to own it. Yeah. And um, I, I put it all out there. So I think it's appreciated. Well, I'm so glad that you're on the show because today we have some incredible items that we can talk about and we have the CEO of Hidden Meeting Symbol that's going to be here, Dane Short. Wow. So would you like to introduce him so we can talk yes. about this really great necklace that he has? Yes, absolutely. Dane, come on out. Hi, Dane. How are Hello. you? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thank nice you. Nice to see you as well. Thanks for having me on. Well, no I'm excited to talk about this because I've never seen anything like it. It's so creative. You can um, give this gift to someone and have the thoughts behind it, like your meaning behind it, and then they can also change the meaning as well. So tell me the story. How'd you come up with this? Right, so um, we have an entire line of jewelry based around this symbol right here, mm -hmm. which is the hidden meaning symbol. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, and it actually contains every letter of the alphabet and every number hidden within it. Get out of here. I can see really? that. Look at that. Now, where's the F? Well, so let me tell you the story first. <laughs> I can see the F. Right it, was, it was actually a couple years ago, my lovely mother, Sally, was doodling, mm -hmm. and she wrote down the phrase, love is all you need, mm -hmm. but she stacked each letter on top of the next uh -huh. and then put a wow. peace sign on top. Very oh, nice. Yeah. So it ended up creating this exact design, which she then sent off to be cast as just a love and peace pendant for herself to wear. Right. Yeah. But when the pendant came back, my sister and I were back visiting for the holidays mm -hmm. and she ended up taking it off at one point and we randomly saw it sitting on its side like this mm -hmm. and then we yeah, noticed a K cool. popping out. Oh, look at that. See right I middle. see the K loud and I see yeah. it right there. I see the K. And since there's no K in the phrase, love is all you need, it got mm -hmm. us curious and motivated us as a family to see what else we could find. And at that yeah. point, we ended up sitting down and uncovering the entire alphabet as well mm -hmm. as every number, all hidden within the doodle of her writing, love is all you need. Uh huh. So, that is great. Yeah. Wow, so, that is how pretty amazing. completely that is pretty amazing. Uh, evolved organically. And what we mm -hmm. did is we ended up creating a line of jewelry around it where when you have it on, mm -hmm. it means anything that you want it to mean. Yeah. The one that I put on every morning means something very personal to me, mm -hmm. but everybody here could be wearing the exact same symbol yeah. and would have a completely separate and unique meaning to them. Mm -hmm. So each one has its own meaning. Well, it's, so it's the exact same symbol that you see, but what happens is if you, when you're purchasing them as gifts, it comes with a card here, mm -hmm. and then so inside of here I have a two Melissa, from Dane, uh -huh. and then I traced out her kids' names. Oh, oh nice! So you That's and adorable. Yeah, I love that. So to her, she could be wearing the pendant, and uh -huh. it would have her kids' names. To me, and it would symbolize my children around my neck. Exactly, yeah. but it's the exact same symbol. It's the fact that it has every letter of the alphabet means mm -hmm. that whether that's a nine-year-old boy or a ninety-year-old grandma, whatever they want it to mean, mm -hmm. it, it means that's that. Pretty, that that's pretty. That is great. Cool. That's pretty yeah, really cool. I like, like that a lot. Yeah. So for me, I use mine more as a tool to set different goals and intentions. So mm -hmm. when I put mine on it has my intention for the day so I kind of look at it and hold it and you know today it, it means gratitude I'm just yeah. thankful to be here with you guys and Aww. be able to work with my family and everything uh -huh. yeah, so I kind of use it as a as a as a guide whereas mm -hmm. some people have their kids names or really anything mm -hmm. so it gives you strength in a way you feel 100 percent. you yeah. feel like you have armor on when you're wearing that necklace right? exactly it, I, like I do that. and I like, I like the that. fact that it's unisex because it it's so hard sometimes to find gifts for people. You're like, okay, well, I would need to make sure it's the right size right. or the right this. But this, I mean, you could buy like 20 of these and give these out as gifts and it fits everyone. Absolutely, and it comes in pendants, bracelets, mm -hmm. necklaces, earrings, charms. I'll oh, actually wow. show you one of our bracelets here. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, you put it on Very cool. around your wrist. Go ahead. I'll show you. <laughs> so you go on here and then you center it. Mm -hmm. You put it around and then you just tuck it in a few oh, times. Oh, I like oh, this one that. a lot. I like that a lot. Very and you nice. would tuck it two or three and then you got it on. Very you got a little nice. unique twist for your wrist there. Mm -hmm. Well, I like too that's a conversation piece. When people see it, they're like, is it a symbol or does it, you know? Right. Yeah. And one of the cool things is, um, you know, I did a little, I, I really knew nothing about symbols, but I did a little research and Every symbol throughout history has always represented something, whether that's a Celtic symbol or a religious symbol or a peace sign. It represents something and tells you what it is, mm -hmm. whereas this symbol, you tell it. It's completely it. open mm -hmm. to interpretations, and some days it might be empowering, some days it might not be. It completely depends on what you want it mm -hmm. to mean. It's a pretty interesting concept. I yeah. really do. I like how it's like personal. You know, Absolutely. you can personalize it. And I think it's great as a gift when people, mm -hmm. you know, when you want to give something that's not crazy expensive, but you want to act like you put a little thought into it. Right. Well, here you go. Exactly. Because yeah. right? you're able to trace out that message. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one of the cool things about giving it as a gift is we have a program, a one for one program that was inspired by Tom Shoes. And for every symbol that we sell, mm -hmm. um, I personally go into a children's hospital and gift out an acrylic pendant. We make an oh. acrylic as well. Um, oh, I cool gift out an acrylic one. pendant so they're able to figure out, so oh, this is all tied up. Well, you can see it right here. Yeah, we can see it. Um, they're able to How pick out their favorite color uh -huh. and then they get sheets of blank symbols and then they can then trace out different messages of faith, mm -hmm. hope, inspiration, yeah. their favorite superhero's name. It doesn't really matter. Whatever they want to yeah. do, something to take their mind off. Mm -hmm. what Whether. they're currently going through. Right. So not Which only... Which is very nice. Yeah, not only are you able to, to buy a personalized gift for somebody, but then mm -hmm. on your behalf we'll also gift one. So that's been a platform that we've been 
extremely excited about. So you can feel good about giving it to someone and purchasing it because you're giving back. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy how many stories have come back, the different testimonials. Um, mm -hmm. A couple weeks ago, as I always tell the story, we had a lady call in to uh, our 800 number crying. And oh. she just wanted to kind of talk to someone about the jewelry, and I didn't really, I didn't really know what, what the problem was. I uh -huh. didn't know if we made her cry. Oh. Um, <laughs> and what had happened is she was going through a rough point in her life, and mm. her friend had purchased her one, and on the message had oh. traced out Time Heals. So oh, I guess for a couple months she put it on every day, Time mm -hmm. Heals, Time Heals. Um, Affirmation. Exactly, yeah. and she ended up yeah. getting through whatever she was going through. And then for the last couple of months, she had been using it as a goals and intentions piece and helping her move towards the future and mm -hmm. inspire her to keep on going on. Yeah. And she called in crying saying that she had just wanted to talk to someone and thank us. And she oh. had never had a uh, piece of jewelry change and evolve with her life. Oh, wow. This is the same symbol that once helped her get through a rough times, now helping mm -hmm. her with the future. That must have made That's you amazing. smile. Probably more than smile, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's such a great feeling. That's amazing. Well, Dane, thank you so much for sharing all about this. Um, I'm excited. I, I love mine. Wow. <laughs> and it goes with so many outfits, too. Yeah, it right? goes with everything. So thank you so much for joining us. We could talk to you all day. Hey, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Lots of luck. Thank Beautiful. you so much for yes. having me on. You're welcome. Right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So wow, isn't that really cool? Now you know what to get for people at Christmas yeah, time. It's it really, really easy. Is. Yeah, here you go, babe. He made our lives easier. <laughs> so now, speaking of charity work, which Dane mentioned, you are involved in charity work as well. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me um, about that. When I was seven years old, I had a coarctation of the aorta, which is a pretty large open heart surgery. Wow. Um, yes, and you know, I had it done at Deborah Heart and Lung, mm -hmm. where they accept every child, everyone, whether you have insurance or you don't, wow. um, which I think is so amazing. And mm -hmm. I, I was in that hospital for over a month. And it was a very stressful time in my life. I mean, a seven-year-old, I couldn't even imagine. I have a daughter that's seven, and if I had to see her with all of these tubes and laying <sighs> like that, um, it, I don't even know. It must have been so hard for my mother. And I do yeah. remember, you know, tears in my mother's mm -hmm. eyes and my father standing by my bed, and they slept in chairs every single night and would not mm -hmm. leave my side. And, you know, my sisters were there, and it mm -hmm. was just really you know, a, an emotional time in my life and yeah. I have healed that I, I, I now just get checked once a year just mm -hmm. to make sure everything's functioning and yeah. it all is, thank God. Um, but it really, I appreciate it to this day. I mean, mm -hmm. it could have, you know, those doctors were so amazing to me. So um, yeah, that's that's yeah. where I give back to. Wow. That yeah, I'm amazing. actually going to be there at the end of the month. Um, we're doing like an, uh, an American Idol for the children there and I'm going to go oh. and judge for them. And How fun. yeah, I really just think it's such an amazing hospital and, yeah. you know, it touches me in some personal way. I like mm -hmm. to tie myself to something that really means something to me and that, yeah. you know, I have a little piece of. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Well, yeah. we have another guest today. Wonderful. And we're going to be talking about coffee. Everyone loves oh, coffee. Oh, my favorite. Perfect. <laughs> now we're going to have Ian and Tyler. Would you like to bring them on the show sure. from Come Tyler Coffee? Come on out, Tyler Coffee. <laughs> how are you? Hi, nice to meet Welcome. you. Welcome. Hi, how are you? So I am excited to hear about this because one of the biggest complaints I have with coffee is the bitter aftertaste. Absolutely. And from what I understand, you've solved that. Well, that's that's a absolutely yes, we have. And the way we've done it is with our Z roasting process. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have asked us, well, what does a Z roasting process really mean? And we actually roast our coffee with extremely hot air, hmm. so we don't blend the tannic and lipid acids that are normally found in coffee. Mm -hmm. And the person sitting next to me is one of the co-founders of the invention mm -hmm. of our acid-free coffee, and I'll let him uh, talk a little bit about it. Yes, I would love to hear more about this. Well, Tyler's been drinking coffee since he's been two years old. Oh, really? Two, two, two. Two. I hope it was decaf. <laughs> oh no. No. Every kind of coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, then you're a pro. I am. <laughs> and I can't drink coffee. Oh. So, my other inventors were in the area of the ethnic coffees. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't understand about American coffees. Mm -hmm. I couldn't drink coffee. Yeah. So they needed me as a taster. Oh. And so I tasted this mm -hmm. and we tasted different blends. Mm -hmm. 
and we found out it didn't upset my stomach. Wow, that's huge. So I brought it to Tyler, because mm-hmm. he's the commissaire mm-hmm. of coffee. Because yeah. he knows. So uh, he, he brought me a, a simple question, mm-hmm. and he said, Tyler, what's the second largest commodity item in the world? And I was 15 years old at the time, and I really didn't know. Mm-hmm. So I did my research, and I came back to him, and I said, well, I found that coffee is number two, and oil is number one. Wow, I did not know and that. And we're now at $1.1 trillion industry. Wow. No wonder it's there's huge. a coffee shop on every corner. I was going to say, no <laughs> wonder there's coffee all around. Absolutely. Wow. That's amazing. And for us to be the first, it, it mm. really has revolutionized the coffee market. And we're so yeah. excited to help people mm-hmm. that have stomach-related issues. Do mm-hmm. so, you know, I have to say, honestly, if I drink a cup of coffee too early in the morning, it does bother my stomach. It right. does. And to have something that's acid-free, I bet you makes a world of difference for something Absolutely. like that. Because mm-hmm. it does. It bothers me. Now, if I drink it after 4 p.m., it's okay. But mm-hmm. early in the morning, a cup of coffee too strong does bother my stomach. Huh. So you need something to try like this, this yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so you do offer it in decaf we as do. well as caffeinated? We do, absolutely. And another thing that we've really revolutionized is the, the perk pack. Mm-hmm. And the reason why we do this is because we do not want to oxidize the coffee. Okay. We want to make sure that when you receive your coffee, it's fresh each mm-hmm. and every time. Mm-hmm. So that way you can enjoy your coffee and you can just roll up this bag and it will last you three days or so mm-hmm. and this makes a pot of coffee. Okay. And so we're really, we're really trying to create a, a revolution in the coffee industry mm-hmm. because we're the next uh, revolution since decaffeination is what we like to say. Nice. Beautiful. Now where can someone like Melissa or myself get this? Is it online or well, is it in stores? And that's a great question. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're looking to distribute our coffee to mm-hmm. other retail outlets. Um, and right now, uh, we're an online-based company. Mm-hmm. We started for, from, for seven years, we've been an um, you know, online-based company. Mm-hmm. And we like to keep it that way because yeah. we create an exclusivity. Mm-hmm. Um, our fan base is very uh, savvy when mm-hmm. it comes to a coffee product. Yeah. And they really enjoy our product uh, tremendously. And if you go to tylerscoffees.com, mm-hmm. you can actually find testimonials on, on the people talking about our product as mm-hmm. well as our Facebook and our Twitter and our social medias. That's great. We've really built a, a viral marketing uh, strategy with that. So tell me about the taste because everyone wants to know about the taste of, course, of coffee. Yes. Of course. So how would you describe Tyler Coffee? This taste is phenomenal and I'm actually not biased. Mm-hmm. Um, I drink, <laughs> no really, it's a true story. I'm not biased. Remember, I've been drinking coffee since I was two years old, mm-hmm. so this product's only been around for seven. I used to drink all sorts of different brands. And what I've come to figure out is, you know, coffee has that normal flavor, mm-hmm. but it also creates that bitterness at the end, yeah. at the end of the finish. Mm-hmm. Well, our coffee doesn't have that bitter taste. Mm. So if you're looking for a smooth, buttery flavor, Ooh. but with that rich Italian taste. Ooh, I'm looking there you go, for that. Italian. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Tyler's Coffees is your, is your go-to coffee. Well, I have to be honest with you. I don't drink straight coffee because of the bitter taste. So I'll find mm-hmm. myself, um, you know, using the fancy drinks where they right. put in the chocolate and all of that just yes. to cut that bitter taste. Right. This you don't. That's so amazing. So no, no longer are you adding, you know, excess calories mm-hmm. to your daily routine. You're not adding that yeah. sugar. You're not adding. And those I do milk. add all of that just Absolutely. to cover those that taste. Absolutely. Those chocolates, those caramels. Yeah. Over time, you're gonna, you know, those are calories, mm-hmm. right? Right. Exactly. So this is this is uh, uh, you just drink it black and you can enjoy mm-hmm. it and it's just a wonderful product. That's great. So where's the future going for your product? Do you see, are you going to expand it all? Mm-hmm. Do you have any, tell us about your, your plans. Well our future plans are, are very um, sporadic right now mm-hmm. because we have such uh, a following. We have, yeah. we have so many people that are interested in, in taking this coffee in all mm-hmm. different directions. We're looking to expand it into the grocery market Mm -hmm. and into the retail market. And probably within a year or so, we're looking at opening our first coffee bar. That would would be great. And what city might have the privilege of that? that. (laughs) (laughs) We hope it's We might do it in our hometown in our test market, um, Tucson, Arizona. Okay. It's the number one test market in the nation. Oh, so, I didn't know that. So, you know, we might as well, we'll start there. Yeah. And uh, we're looking at franchising. 
but we're, we're really excited that mm -hmm. so many people are behind this product now yeah. and we've created such a cult following that uh, we have customer base that just really demands it. Mm -hmm. And maybe once you try, you can't. You, right. You can't resist yeah, it. You, you can't keep resist going back it. For more. You got it, Melissa. You and got you it. solved a problem that so many people have been trying to overcome. That's you know that acidic, bitter taste for coffee. That's not good and for you. And also, right. if you go to our website, tylerscoffees.com, mm -hmm. you can actually see a doctor documentation. We have the yeah. Urology Association. Mm -hmm. He's a doctor and he's also um, board urology mm -hmm. in New York. And he says that Tyler's Coffee is, is bar none the best choice for you for OAB or ulcerative colitis or IC, wow. any kind of stomach related disorder. That's a great endorsement. That yeah, is. It is an amazing endorsement. Well, it's, thank you so much for joining us I and mean, just educating us about coffee absolutely. in general. And I bet you there's a lot of people out there that uh, I know you have a cult following, but that don't even know about this mm -hmm. that will be exposed to it now. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, Melissa, thank you. Thank you so thank you. much. I can't nice wait to try. Have a great time. Thank you. Take care, guys. So, Melissa, isn't this fun? This we is have coffee fun. I love and jewelry. All these products. And you all know what I love even more? The ambition in everyone's eyes and how oh, everyone no. really is invested in their product and they really yes. want to. You know, they want to explain to you, and, and it means something to them. So that's the yeah. best part about it, right? I mean, how many of us have come up with uh, solutions to problems, but never follow through? I mean, these are people that are passionate and have worked so hard so that we have solutions to everyday issues. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. I love this. And Entrepreneurs to, around here. You know, one thing <laughs> I really like is that you're so focused on being a housewife, which is so great because I think for a time in our society, people really focus on women being out of the home. But you're so proud of being home and having the kids and a family yes. and making that a priority. And I think that's why you have such a great following. Thank you. So tell Thank me you. about the future for you. So you have your music coming out. Um, is it a full album? Are you heading towards that? Um, you know what? We are heading heading that way. We mm -hmm. don't have everything laid out on the table yet, but mm -hmm. um, as of now, I, I have released four songs. Mm -hmm. um, two of them were in the top ten on iTunes. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, the one ballad that I wrote myself to my husband went to oh. number four on iTunes, and that's that beautiful. was huge for me. It was huge yeah. with just a platform of you know, me, my mm -hmm. Twitter followers, and my Facebook followers mm -hmm. have gotten that song into the top four on iTunes, which wow. for me was amazing. And that's why I love them so much because <laughs> they support me. And, 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 and it was with the platform of Bravo, and mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for that. Um, and now things are just, you know, they're getting better and better, and I'm mm -hmm. getting more opportunities, and there's more, you know, going on. And I'm tight lipped about them right now, but there's things <laughs> I <understand>. coming. <laughs> well, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us and being on the C Shop. Give one more shout out to your. Facebook fans, your Twitter followers. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for your support on everything. I love you guys. And to find out more great guests that we have in the future, follow us at C Shop TV.